here with Bandits defenseman Aiden Celebrini back from the World Junior A Challenge in Cornwall. Uh, hope you enjoyed the experience, Aiden. What was it like uh, playing for Team Canada? It was definitely an honor, um, something you dream about since as long as I can remember, just to be able to put on that jersey. And, you know, it's uh, it was really, really cool environment to, to be in. Yeah, it looked pretty cool, like a nice nice arena out in Cornwall and uh, certainly some uh, some great hockey that we saw. What was it like playing in the games and especially that, you know, first stepping out on the ice and, and realizing that you, you, you know, had, had accomplished uh, playing for Canada? Yeah, there's definitely a lot of pride on the line. You're, um, you know, every shift you take, it's with the with the representation of uh, of Canada and yourself, but uh, yeah, it's really it's really mostly um, just a proud feeling and a feeling of wanting to uh, do whatever you can for your country. What's it like to leave your team that you're so familiar with and go to this team where you're with some familiar faces, but really you have a collection of some of the best players uh, from Canada West all together. What's it like gelling and, and getting that to go in the right direction? You know, definitely miss the boys back here, but our team out there was, uh, we meshed like right away. It was, it was a great, uh, great team dynamic and it really showed in those uh, first few games where, yeah, we really just bonded uh, better than, all the other teams going in and uh, unfortunately it didn't end the way we wanted, but those are going to be friendships that last a lifetime. Good lead into my next question. Just what did you take away from uh, the event and, and something that you, you learned, uh, learned uh, leaving that event? Yeah, definitely just how, uh, how vast the hockey world is, how expansive and, um, and growing it is, but uh, at the same time, just how, how tight knit the community is as well. Like we uh, we made friends there that we'll be playing against all year now. And um, yeah, you know, just taking away some really great uh, great memories, great friendships, and uh, really prideful experience. Must have been pretty cool for your family too. There's been a couple national events now that the Celebrinis have been involved in. Your brother uh, playing uh, earlier this year at the U17s. Uh, any words of encouragement? Any advice you got from your younger brother about playing for Canada? Uh, not too much. Um, yeah, just really, uh, really supportive. He watched all the games and uh, same when he was at the tournament. I, uh, I was there to support him. So, yeah, it was just great um, just being there for each other and uh, just supporting each other and in our uh, individual successes. So you're back now in Brooks and uh, the team has already got into uh, the, the January schedule with that game on New Year's Day against Camrose. How good does it feel to be back? And, and what do you think the team really needs to focus on here in these next few games? Yeah, it's definitely great to be back with the, uh, with the boys pushing for that uh, national championship once again. And, um, you know, we really just have to, I mean, that, that was a good, uh, good first game just to get the, the boys back together and um, pulling in the same direction but yeah we just need to make sure that we're we're in sync and we keep up our uh, our momentum for the rest of the year. Aiden congratulations on uh, making Team Canada and the experience there and uh, good to have you back uh, best of luck here in January. Thank you so much. It's Bandits defenseman Aiden Celebrini.